Hello everybody, Day, today we're going to learn about Recycler View. So let's go ahead and set up a new project here. The defaults are all fine. I'm going to hit finish and this will take just a second to sync and here's our code. So it's loading right now. Well, there's a couple of things we want to do. First, we want to add some imports into the Gradle file. So let's go ahead and do that. And you notice I'm in the Android layout view here. So there are a number of views you can use. But Android is my favorite by far. Let's go into Module, App, and there are a couple of things we need to add to the Dependencies section here. You can see we already have um, something. We already have the App Compatibility Library. There's a couple of things we need to add. So let's go ahead and go over to Chrome. And I just Googled Android Recycler View, and I came up with this. So if we scroll to the bottom, there's a number of things we need to add. So I'm just going to copy these. You need to add these dependencies. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy them. Go back to Android Studio, and I'll place them below here. And if you notice, you might get some errors. All that means is that our target SDK version is 25. So let's go ahead and update this to 25. 25, and I think it's 1. No, let's see. Yeah, I think it's so right now, and this will change. Let's go ahead and save that and sync it. That'll take that'll take just a second to get everything down and sync it over. So just give that a couple of seconds, and we're done with that. Great. So what do we need to do? One of the first things I do is I always just Google whatever I want to do. So I googled Android Recycler View. So we added our dependencies. I'm not sure why it's at the bottom because it's kind of your first step. But anyway, we so we added the dependencies. So let's see what else we need to do. So let's go ahead and add Recycler View, it looks like. So let's go back to Android Studio, go to our layout. I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm going to put in a Recycler View. So Recycler View, match, match. And we can go ahead and do that. Oops. Oops. Uh, there we go. That was my problem. So we just added uh, Recycler View, and you saw that you can just open up a lesser than sign and start typing Recycler View. Oh, and we need to give it an ID. So ID equals Recycler View. Save that, format it, and I think we're done with that. So let's go ahead and see what we need to do next. I have a pretty good idea of what we need to do. So it looks like we need to start up some variables. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's, let's see. We need a recycler view, an adapter, and a layout manager. Let's see if we can do that. So in our main activity, it extends app compat activity. And this is where we put our variables. So let's do private recycler view and recycler view. We also need private recycler view dot uh, adapter, I think. Yeah. Dot, uh, and you can, if you, a lot of times if you put a dot and start uh, typing something, it'll come out like that. So it's a M adapter private. Actually, I think this is, yeah, view dot layout manager. So great. I'm going to go ahead and format that and run it. And I'm going to, let's see. I'm going to use it from, I just pressed uh, control R to run it. And I'm going to go ahead and click Run. And this should take a couple of seconds to run. It's building the Gradle file right now. So just give it a couple of seconds. And there we go. It looked like it finished the Gradle build. And there we are. And it's blank because we haven't done anything yet for it. So if we go into our layouts, and if we open this up, and we go into design view. You see we have, it's kind of showing you a preview of there, of what's there, but we're done with that file. So we have all this stuff. Let's go ahead and set it up. So let's see, m recycler view equals find r.id.res. Um, I'm just going to quickly go ahead and do that. So we save that. I'm going to format it, save it, format it. Let's go back to Chrome and see what else we need to do. So we just, we just did that step right there. We added that line of code. So something we can do is we can call a method called set has fixed size, and that'll just make some, if you know that you're only going to have a certain amount of items in your recycler view, this will this will increase performance. So set has fixed size on that. So let's see. Let's see. mrecyc.set has fixed, and we just set it to true. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and run it. If we go back to our emulator, 
It's really nothing to see there. We didn't really make any changes. So let's go back to Chrome and see what else we need to do. So we need to set up a layout manager, it looks like. So M layout manager equals new layout. Okay, that looks good. Let's go ahead. And it's up here, so M layout manager. So I'm just going to copy that. Um, new. What was it? Where are we? And it'll tell you what it takes to context. So we're done with that. I'm going to format it. Everything's good. Okay, set. So now we need to do. Let's see, set. Oh, sorry. So we're done with that. I'm going to go ahead and run it. And again, nothing much will change, or nothing at all will change, I will say. So we're done with that step. Let's keep going. Let's see what else we need to do. So it looks like we have to set up our adapter. So M adapter, um, new adapter. Let's see. M adapter equals new my adapt. So we're getting a couple of errors here, and that's because we didn't, we haven't added, created that class yet. So let's do something simple. I'm just going to do it here for now, but for i, uh, we'll do it, let's see, 20 times. Um, let's go ahead and create um, a private string. We'll name that mmovies. So, so mmovies. Um, so this can be your data set, it can be anything, so mmovies.add So that should get rid of one, uh, oh we need to do something Let's see, M That should get rid of our errors So that gets rid of that error, okay great so I'm going to go ahead and save it, format it, save it, and run it. And if you look at this, nothing much should, oh, actually it should fail. That's right, because we don't have this class yet. So I'm going to do option, enter, create class, and that's fine. Uh, that's fine. Let's go ahead and we're going to need, so array list string, and we'll call it uh, M movies. We'll just name it the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of that really quickly. So if you notice there, we're getting some errors, and a lot of times when you're when you're doing with Recycler View, um, it can the Android Studio can help you out a lot. So let's see what we need to do. So Recycler View Adapter, we have that part, but we need My Adapter View Holder. So let's go ahead and do that. So My Adapter View Holder, and we're getting a lot of errors here. I'm just gonna go ahead and save it. Format it, save it, option enter, implement methods, just hit enter to that. I'm gonna put my mouse over that, do option enter again, create class view holder. And this needs to extend something. So what does it need to extend? I think it's up here. Recycler view dot view holder. So I need to extend extend recycler view dot view holder. So now we're getting an error there. So I'm gonna go ahead and option enter, create that, and there we go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do public let's see. So we'll get that, and to set it up, we're going to go ahead and this is, we're basically just setting a, um, you know, we'll create it later, I'll explain it later. So let's go ahead and m title, uh, title equals item dot find view by id r dot id dot title. And I'm going to put my mouse over that, we're getting an error. So option enter, cast that, and that should get rid of the error. Now I think we're good to go ahead and run this. But it might, it's not going to show us any data yet, obviously. We're getting an error. Oh, in movies. That's not working out. Let me think. Oh, I know what the problem is. So we need to create a constructor. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to do a control enter constructor. There we go, that should get rid of the error. So the problem was we're calling my adapter. And my adapter is right here. And a quick little tip, you can just hold down the command key and click on it. But anyway, we didn't we weren't taking that in as a constructor here. 
So I just needed to add that. So I'm going to save it, run it, and this time we should see. We, well, we still we should we should load properly. So everything loaded again, no data because we haven't done it yet. We haven't added text yet. So really quickly, let's work on get item count. So we're going to go ahead and m dot size, and that'll just display the correct size. Go ahead and run that, and we should see nothing. Great. I'm using live or instant run is what I'm using here. So what else do we need to do? There's some more stuff we need to do. So let's go back to the article. I think we're, oh, we need one more step. We need to set the adapter on the recycler view. So let's go back to main activity. And I'm going to go ahead and do dot set adapter, adapter, save it, run it. I always format the code. This should uh, be stopped. Okay, we get an error there. So I'm going to go open up Android Monitor and see what the problem is. Let's see if I can figure it out really quickly. So a lot of times when you're coming some coming up with some error, you can open up the Android Monitor here. And if you look at this, it'll tell you what it is. So we're so it doesn't have the line number right here, but one of the things I can get from it is that there's it's saying a null object reference. So I got to figure out where that is. So let's see, recycler view dot view. No, that's not it. So yeah, a lot of times, so I'm getting an error, so I launch the emulator and it gets, you know, recycler view droid cast has stopped. So I'm just gonna, I'm, I opened up Android monitor and I'm just gonna look at this for a second and see if I can figure it out. Usually there's a line number you can get, but I don't see a line number. So let's see what this is about. Attempting to write recycler view, I think we did a find it's, That's interesting. Give me just a second to look at the code and see I can see what's going on. Well, let's uh, let's try. I have some I have an idea I can try. Let's just go ahead and try to finish this out. Then I'll work on the error in just a little bit. So what do we need to do? Let's go back to Android Studio. I mean the Chrome and we have the tab opened up. So it looks like we have, I got that pretty much done. That the constructor takes in. I'm going to go ahead and just copy this. And I'm going to go ahead and that was in on create view holder. So on create view holder, I'm going to go ahead and erase what's there. Add that in. I'm going to rename this row and to get rid of the comments because I don't need them. So let's go ahead to our layout, new, we'll name this row, and we don't have coordinator layout, let me see. I think we need to add this and I already have it open up, so I'm going to copy that. That's just something I googled, so let's get rid of that. Let's go back into our module and let's add it at the bottom here. 25.0.1 is the latest version right now. Uh, it's giving me an error. I'm going to go ahead and sync it. And then after this, we should be able to use, we should be able to use the coordinator layout. So it looks like that's synced. So I'm going to go back into resources, layouts, and I'm going to create a row. Double click here, corn, and there we go, we have it. Okay, great. So that should get rid of that error. I'm gonna save it, format it, and go ahead and run it and see if it still gives us that error. If it does, I can probably figure it out in a few minutes. A lot of times, it's Beth is gonna, oh, it didn't crash. That's great. So we actually have something. So let's go ahead and do something. Let's do log D here. And at the top, I'm going to go ahead and do log t. Um, let's go ahead and save that. 
and run it. And as soon as this runs, we should output to the log cat to the to the de so we can debug it. So that loaded. Let's see something. So here it is. Here, here, here. So it you know it's it's definitely working. Oh, part it's not finished yet. So let's see what else we have to do. So it looks like we have something to do in on bind view holder. So let's go back to Android documentation, on bind view holder. So basically all we need to do is, let's see, we do holder dot. So we're basically, where are we? Yeah, so we get the holder here, so we do holder dot, dot set texts. And we'll just put in some random text for now. Save that. Reformat the code. Usually, you don't, never want to do that, but I'm doing it just for testing here. So let's go ahead. And there's something else that I just forgot what to do. Oh yeah. So we actually need to go into our row, and it's going to go into text view. And we actually need to put a text view, and we need to give it an ID title. So let's go back into my adapter and make sure that's set up. So yeah, it's set up. I'm going to go ahead and run this and see if it crashes. I bet it's going to crash because there's probably some, oh, there we go. Oh, uh, there we go. So cool. We can scroll through this and you see all of our ASDFs, which are kind of nice. Not, but so this is the basics of Recycler View. In just a few minutes, in about 16 minutes, we got it all set up. Not too difficult. A lot of times Android Studio will help you out like generating a lot of the code. Um, so let's do something. Let's actually take the data. So mmovies.get. So basically what we're doing is if you go up to mmovies, we're passing that in. We're setting that right here. mmovies equals mmovies. And that's how we're getting it. Then we're, So we call an mmovies there and a get method on it. In the position we're getting from right there, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And there's one other thing I want to do. I want to change this, the height, to wrap content. So I'm going to go ahead and close that, run it, and let's see if we get any errors. This should be a nice type. Yeah, so there's a, there's a nice list there. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. We don't want that anymore. Bad for performance. Get rid of that, save it. I'm going to go back to main activity and let's make it 100. Why not? So you have 100 lists in there. Let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. So here we are. We can scroll through it. Um, they're all are not 100, really. It goes up to 0 to 99. Um, so that's basically how you create a recycler view. It didn't take too long. Um, if you follow, uh, If you follow the documentation here, I just Googled Android Recycler View. And if you follow the documentation, it's really not that hard. You can get it set up in a little bit of time. It looks pretty nice. You can use you can always use something like Card View that came out a couple of years ago. You can create your own design, and later I might make um, I might create some more Recycler View videos if these are popular or if people want to see more videos. But just to show you the code again, let's see where are we over here? Not too difficult. We set up some variables in main activity. We use that for performance. Set up a linear layout manager. Create create the movies we want. Set the adapt. Um, create a new adapter and pass in the movies. Set the adapter. Set the adapter here. Then we go into my adapter. We added some text here. Uh, we used uh, option enter to generate a lot of the code for us. Um, here we're extending recycler view view holder. So this is, you know, I'm going to go ahead and stop the movie here, but this is how you basically get a recycler view together. If you like it, let me know and I'll create some more. Maybe I'll do some on card view and how you can do that. But anyway, that's it for now. Thanks.